Chateau de Charmes translates directly from the French Castle of Charms, and the setting is just that. Located at the frontier of Niagara, the expansive chateau and its surrounding vineyards produce beautiful wines, producing exclusively French varietals, some you won't find anywhere else in the region. A family estate with generations of experience, sitting and sipping one of the Bosque family wines at the chateau will certainly charm you. How involved are you in the actual management of the vineyards themselves? Well, my, my history with the vineyards goes back to the you know, very, very start of the winery when my you know, dad started it. Uh, I was a high school student and uh, at the age of 17, it was my summer job was to plant, uh, plant vines. I um, you know, led the crew that planted these vines right, you know, right here in the summer of 1983. And they're, they're still the original, the original vines from the, the 1983 planting. They're more than 35 years old. 90% of the wine business is what goes on in the, in, the, in the vineyards, you know, like you can't make great wine if you don't start with great grapes. The winemaker uh, may be extremely talented, but she'll be the first to tell you that, uh, you know, if, if you want her to make great, great wine, you got to give her great grapes. Yesterday we harvested the Chardonnay from the Saint David's Bench Vineyard, which for us is the vineyard around the Chateau. And today we are harvesting the Chardonnay on the other side of the road, around the Paul Bosque estate. Those two vineyards have only one road that separates them. If it's 50 meters, that's all it is. And they, have, they are made the same way in terms of winemaking and bar barrel regimes and everything but they are so different in your glass. Uh, the sand of its bench gives you a much more mineral, um, lemony, tangy kind of Chardonnay, where the Paul Basque is more on the floral side and rich mouthfeel. So 50 meters makes a big, big difference. And when we go to soil analysis, it's actually also a different kind of soil, like both clay loam, but different type of the Aldeman clay loam and the Smithville clay loam on the other side. Taking those grapes to a wine, turn them into a wine and give it a bit of my signature on it, but not too much because I love to respect the terroir and I love that you have a sense of place when you drink the wine and give emotions to people when they drink it. You know the the concept of terroir is is uh, encompasses many you know, many things soil climate but uh, sometimes people don't uh, appreciate how much of a factor human intervention uh, is and uh, the best wines come from vines that have been babied and they get uh, a lot of individual attention <clears> that <throat> we farm sustainably and if you take care of the vineyard uh, it'll take care of you. It's rewarded us with its longevity, you know, more than 35 years and going and going strong. Mm -hmm.